Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to study an aspect of technical drawing which is what? Lettering. Now, sometimes when you uh, finish your drawing, you need to write out a means of identification. Probably your name or the title of what you've just drawn. And one of the ways for you to do that is by your lettering. And your lettering is talking about your alphabet, right? And sometimes it can be alphanumeric, both numbers and words and letters. So for the benefit of this video, we'll be starting with letters. Now, even in your title block, you need to show your means of identification through lettering also. Or you've drawn a component and you want to label it, probably you finish drawing the pulley and you want to write it down to know that it is a pulley, you need also your lettering. Now, if you're given a diagram to draw and you're told to draw, it depends on your specification. Sometimes they might tell you the thickness of the line is 10. Sometimes they might tell you the thickness of the line is 20. But if you're not told, simply just use 10. When I mean 10, I mean 10 millimeter, right? Which is just one centimeter or otherwise stated. So what I'll do first of all, I'm going to pick a line. Let's see, I'll pick a point here. Let me just pick a point here, right? And I'll just draw a tick line. Now when I draw the tick line, I'll just take my rule, right? I'll place it on my T square this way. And I'll move it to the beginning of the line, depending if I start from anywhere you want to start. I'll just draw a faint line this way as my reference point. Now, what I'll do is, from the top here, I'll measure 10. Just like I said, I'm talking about from this point here to this point here, I'll measure 10. Either otherwise stated. So measure my 10. Now, if I place it here, let's say I'm using this, starting from 3 downward so from 3 to 2 is 10 millimeter right this is my 2 10 millimeter then i also need a half of it so if it is 20 i'll measure my 20 i'll take half of it so since i'm using 10 i'm just taking half part of it now in doing that i'll take still my set square or my rule i'll just draw another point here just my reference point where I'm going to stop. Now, if you get perfect, you don't have to do all this. So you come to this point, and you also tick in that line from here. I'm going to tick in it to this point, right? Then the center line also. I'm going to draw it like so. You can see that. Now, after doing that, you see that these two outermost lines are thicker. Now, the reference line of the letters is the next thing we're about to do now. Now, if you realize that, if you notice, the A, the alphabet, are not touching the outermost line. They are being carried by some hidden lines here, some faint line here. So that will be what we're about to do now. Now, those line, the thickness can be 2 millimeter or 3 millimeter, otherwise stated. Now, I will be using 2 millimeter, right? So, from this thick line here, I'm starting from here. So, I'm going to start. Where I'm starting from is 0. So this will be 1, 2. So, I'm using 2. So, from the base here also, where I'm starting from is here. So, that point will be 0. So, this is 0. This will be what? 1, 2. This is what we have here. Now, I'm going to use my T square. It is faster and easier when you make use of your T square. So from here, I'm going to draw my line this way, faint line. Then I'll move it to the next one also. From here, I'll draw my other line also, faint line. Now, I have successfully drawn that out. Now it's for me to start writing out my letters. Now I want to start with A. So if I start with A, I said from this point to this point, this is A. Right? Our list space, it should be equally distributed so if i come here i might say from the next a to the other a i can say okay 
let my distance from the first a to the other a let me see it is um it is two that is 20 millimeter so i'll go to the next one i'll call it reward my point b right to the next one where the b ends and do another 20 again from the ending of b here i can say okay let's move this is 10 20 i will end in here so that's what the c will be so depending on you what you actually want then i move to the next one which is what d I move to the next one which is what e Move the next one which is what f then the next one which is what g you can see what i'm do i'm writing it out that is g now to the next line how we to the next line from this thing outermost line here you are going to still measure another 10 so take i'll start from my four so starting from my four means the four is zero so it's zero then this is 10 right so from here i'm going to take the center point I'm starting from four here right so i'll take center point which is here so i'll do the same thing the way i did for the other one so we'll draw if it, a tick line now this way then the center line here which is faint from here and i'm going to measure two millimeter each the way i did the previous one two millimeter each right so let's do that and see so if i start from one here i'm going up this is the one i'm starting from is zero this is one two then from two here also is zero i'm going down this is one two so with the help of my t square i will transfer this point to the next point so from here to this point here then from here also to this point here now this is what we have here so we we'll start again this is a b c d e f g then i'll call here to be the h here is H and the next one is I then we have J then we have K we have L we have M we have N right so you do the same thing again, the same thing repeats itself again in the next line. I repeat the same fit until I get to where I'm actually going to. So from here, I'll measure another 10 again. This point. So doing that, I'll get the center. I'm going to rule it with my thick line here. then the center line here then do the same thing you measure your two and you measure your two just like i did earlier and you have this so we have k l m n then the next one is o we have p we have Q, we have R, we have X, we have T, we have U, and V, W, X Y Z So this is what we have. This is how you do your lettering in capital letter. 
Now, the next thing you should know how to write also is your numeric, your numerics, right? This is the alpha. What about the numeric, as in the letters, the figures? So let's see how we do that. The same procedure, but this is what we do. So we have having like the one written this way. Then let me just do this. The two. Let me just evenly space. The two. We have three. This so I write my three. Then we have four. We have five. We have six. Then seven. We have the eight. Then we have nine. Then we have the ten. This is how you do it. Once you start, it should be what? Evenly space, right? This is how you do your lettering. So let's just take an exercise and see how it goes. Now if you look at the top of your screen, the exercise there is you should write, don't manage what will damage you. So let's see how we write that. First of all, you do the same thing we did here, and this is what you have. Now, I haven't repeated what you did here. So we're going to write this. The first one is, it says, don't don't right manage Can see that? This is how you write that. Can I just add more tweets and tell you this? Let's increase that and see another one. Let's say having talent is enough reason not to relent. So this is what you this is how you write your lettering. So if you found the video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.